You know, we're about two weeks away from students heading back to the class, teachers too, and school systems on both sides of the bay are working to make sure that they have enough people hired and trained bus drivers. Mm, Fox 10 News' Dacian Smith has more on the story. And Dacian, both school systems telling you it's always a battle just trying to find enough mm. qualified bus drivers. That's right, and while both school systems say they've made some progress over the summer, they are still looking to hire and train more drivers. School systems across the country are working around bus driver shortages ahead of the first day of school. The Mobile County Public School System says they run close to 700 routes, but are over 100 drivers short. School system says they already have a plan in place while they work to hire more drivers. We may have to consolidate some routes, and then the other thing we do is have some drivers do double runs where they'll run one route and then do a second route. The school system says they were able to hire some drivers during their recruitment fair a couple of months ago, which has them sitting around 600 so far. Despite the challenges, they say they'll be able to get children to school safely. Well, I mean, this is something that's been going on for years, and so we will continue to do what we have been doing, which is have double routes and get all of our children to school. Over in Baldwin County, new and returning drivers spent Tuesday morning going through orientation to go over the routes and different safety procedures. The Baldwin County School System says they run around 400 routes with 800 drivers. After hiring 15 to 20 drivers over the summer, they say they're still about nine drivers short. We desperately need drivers in the Babinet, Foley, Robertsdale area. Um, the other areas around the county were pretty much staffed. Transportation coordinator Samuel Ellis says so far, the biggest challenge has been hiring subs to fill in for sick drivers during the year. They don't get the full benefit package, um, but they have a, a lot of responsibility. It's a great job, and we've actually increased sub pay recently to help offset that challenge for them. Now, both school systems say it is a part-time job with full-time benefits like retirement and insurance. If you'd like to apply to either school system, you can go to our website for more information. Live in Mobile, Dacian Smith, Fox 10 News.